Hello, welcome back to the Jonathan and Lucas show. Well, today it's been a good day. Um, although hadn't seen Lucas in about four days actually, so it's been pretty silent around here. And actually, you know, I like that, but it's been getting really quiet. And I'm beginning to wonder where he is. I know he's not on vacation because I've been I've been seeing him over at his house and stuff in his yard, but he hasn't been talking to me for a while, so I wonder what he's doing. It's not like him. So I'm sorry, but I highly doubt Lucas is going to be around here, judging off of the last few days. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, everybody on your toes. How you doing? Wow. How are you guys doing today? Sorry, he he's here. So, Jonathan, what you up to? Well, actually, you know, guess, guess what, Jonathan? I haven't seen him in a few days. Correct. You've you you've seen me, but I haven't been waving at you because I've been doing something. Okay, what? I have been blueprinting a certain thing, and you know what I'm I've been working on, Gina. Let me know, Lucas. I am going to turn your microwave into an atomic bomb. Oh, cool, nice. Do what? <laughs> Jonathan, I'm going to turn your microwave into an atomic bomb. Yeah, Jonathan, that's what I've been blueprinting. I've been quite busy doing that, so now I can put my plan into action. Let's go in your kitchen. Wait, Lucas. So you see, Jonathan, I have this stroker hot wired about six ways from Sunday. Yeah, so Lucas, why are you turning my microwave into an atomic bomb. What's the need? Because, Jonathan. I don't know. It's hard to do it. Lucas, look at this thing. Look at all these wires dangling off of it. That is just crazy. Lucas, what in the world? So this wire right here will light up when it's activated and about to blow up. <laughs> Why did you pick a microwave to do this with? Because microwaves produce energy, you see. It produces heat energy and thermal energy and all of that creates can create a atomic bomb, yeah. So it'll activate by just hitting start. And the microwave, that's why I chose a microwave as well. It has a very easy control panel. Yeah, like start. Yep. Lucas? Yes, Jonathan. Didn't you say the string will light up if the bomb is activated? Yes, Jess, I did say that. You have such good memory. You have two minutes before spontaneous combustion. Jonathan, what are we gonna do? Why are you asking me? It's your bomb. You have one minute before spontaneous combustion. Oh yeah, just hit cancel on the microwave. So there is actually another way to make this atomic bomb explode. What? There's a certain word you can say that makes it blow up immediately. It's... Hang. Hang on. I tried to use the most uncommon word. A word that no one would ever use in a sentence. Is? Oh, don't worry, Jonathan. It only activates if I say the word in my voice. Okay, Lucas. I'm sure no one is ever going to use that word. <sighs> oh, man, a fly. What is it, Jonathan? Igniting. Lucas. Oh, top of the morning, Jonathan. How you doing? I'm just planning a blueprint for something. Don't worry about it, Jonathan. Why in my house? Hey, Lucas. I had the craziest dream that you turned my microwave into an atomic bulb. Jonathan, I don't know what you're eating before bed, but 
your dreams are crazy, all right, Jen? Well, um, I better get going. Or I could stay here. No, you could get going. All right, then we'll see you next time on the GNF and I know good show. Remember to tap the like, subscribe, and notification bell on YouTube, please, if you enjoy this. See you guys next time. Bye, Jen. What is this he threw on the bed? Huh. That's funny. If I didn't know better, I'd say this is like my dream. I guess Lucas is smarter than he looks. But bad handwriting.